All right, y'all. So, Mima is coming to visit for a couple of weeks, and the kids are the babysitters, so I have a little bit of time to prepare the house for guests. So today we're going to be doing a clean with me, and it will be specifically for a guest coming. I will show you some of the things that I do when a guest is coming to prepare so that they feel comfortable in my home, especially my mom, because she stays for weeks rather than just a day or two. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright y'all, so I will be popping in and out of the video in order to give you some tips and tricks for making your guests feel comfortable. The first tip that I have is not specifically related to guests, but is a way that I've been cleaning that's made my life a little easier. I am using the Clorox toilet tablets and the wand to clean the bathtub and it has worked out really well. As you can see, it does leave a little bit of blue as you're cleaning, which is great because you know where you've cleaned and where you haven't, but you do have to be careful rinsing out and making sure you get everything, otherwise you will have a little bit of blue in your bathtub. So I started this a couple years ago. I put out sample size things for the guests so that if they forgot anything, they don't have to worry about going out to get something. So one of my favorite things to put in there is oral hygiene, so toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, floss, because that's one of those things that you pack last minute. And so I have repeatedly forgotten my toothbrush or toothpaste when traveling. There is also body wash and tissue and razors and as you can see Advil and uh, chapstick also was a good thing to add. But I enjoy adding those things so that if someone forgot something they don't have to feel uncomfortable in my home. So we recently moved and we moved from a four bedroom house to a three bedroom house and we sold our guest bed and we switched to the couch bed. Um, it's kind of awkward as a couch, the back is a little long because this is a queen size, I think the twin size would be a lot less awkward and it is very low to the ground but as you can see it's very easy to set up and they were selling platforms so you could probably make a platform for the bed to sit on so it's not so low. I already had some memory foam from the other bed that I'm using on this bed, but I don't think you would actually need it. I just already had it, so why not, right?
So another thing that I've recently started doing is cooking an entire chicken or this is a turkey breast um, before my guest comes because I always find it difficult to find something to feed everyone for lunch. So by already having some pre-made turkey or chicken in the fridge, I am able to feed them salads or sandwiches or whatever very quickly. It makes life a lot easier. Also, I have started slow cooking a lot of my food. So as you can see, I'm turning the temperature up to 250 for five hours and it was absolutely amazing. As you can see, I have changed clothes. It is actually the next day, and today I have a helper, and he wanted to put all of the towels on the shelf for Mima. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found some good tips and tricks and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!